Hi everybody, this is Charles Simpson at Domain Santros. I'd like to welcome you to the 2011 uh, Grape Harvest at Domain Santros. This is the 11th of August, uh, which is a little bit early for us, but not incredibly early. Um, and I'll take you through the next 24 hours of my life. Uh, we pick overnight, so we'll be doing a lot of cleaning today. Uh, getting prepared for the vintage tonight and then we'll be picking overnight all the way through to tomorrow morning. So I'll take you along for the ride. Where else would you want to be? The goal at Santa Rose is really to have a flavour spectrum of all of the varieties that we bring in and we do that by basically picking at different times. So just because things are ripe doesn't mean we bring it all, all in. We actually pick our first picking of any particular block at the beginning of its maturity to get the fresh sort of um, fruity flavours and, and maintaining acidity and then we'll pick again in the middle and then at the end and therefore you get this beautiful flavour spectrum from start to finish in terms of what the variety has to offer you. August 11th at 7.30 in the morning I wanted to show you our Chardonnay which we are picking tonight. There she is there, we're going to be picking the top part of this block tonight. Chardonnay and uh, those little berries are going to get to know your lips in about six months time. So how many Antipodeans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Let me introduce you to the team. This, this is Alec all the way from New Zealand on a log. This is Lee on a log from Australia with a brain the size of Sputnik. <laughs> And the glue keeps it all together, Marc de Fay from Belgium. Domain Saint Rose Lounge Club. The sofas. Hi, Charles Simpson here. 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm doing my favourite job. So we've finished uh, uh, basically processing, and we're now doing lots of cleaning. So one of the things that I get to do, being one of the bosses, is to basically get every single pip out of this receival tray. I use my handy dandy leather man and off I go. Pip by pip by pip. Can you think of anything finer to do at two o'clock in the morning than this? Sleeping would be one of them. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm part of the morning team, picking up the pieces after a long night. What we have in the morning is essentially two tanks. First tank, you can't actually see the wine behind it, but a concrete tank where we keep all the free run juice. Free run juice is essentially the juice that's been created, comes straight through the press, not being squeezed at all, just fresh, uh, light coloured, pure Chardonnay juice. Over here, we have a stainless steel tank. <coughs> You can see the juice in the side glass here, much darker. These are the pressings. 